and the fans of the Stanford Cardinal, they know it. Their team is going to be the champion for the first time since 1998. They have a comfortable lead heading into our last event, 486.5 to 334 over Cal, which will finish as the runner-up. Texas A&M going to finish with their highest total ever, their highest finish ever in third. Simone Manuel will start it off for Stanford in lane five. It will be Manuel, Ledecky, Hu, and Neal as you have a look at Katie Ledecky. That quartet combined for 12 medals, six of them gold in their Olympic career. How do you like that quartet to have on a relay in the first two with Manuel and Ledecky? Leading it off for Stanford, certainly the huge favorites, Cal, down there in lane two will be a big factor. Georgia, top qualifier, leads off with Spaliga, another Olympic gold medalist. Bill was down there for Cal. She's been sensational on the relays, especially the free relays for Cal, but only was 17th in the 50 freestyle. Very good relay swimmer, though. We've had seven NCAA records, five American records. Will there be another? 308.51, the NCAA and American record set by Stanford at the Pac-12 Championships three weeks ago. It's the same quartet and the same order. Yeah, Simone Manuel was 22-1 there. Smaliga 22-2 coming off. And there's where Simone Manuel took off in the individual 100. And she's done it now on the relay as well. Great third 25, nailing those turns, giving Stanford a huge lead. This first 100. And what an exchange. Manuel to Ledecky. Katie Ledecky celebrated her 20th birthday during this meet. The last time Stanford won the title was the week Katie turned a year old. Unbelievable. We know what Katie Ledecky has done for the 100. She was on that 400 free relay this past summer in Rio that won the silver medal. She anchored that relay, by the way, and had the second fastest split of anybody on that American relay. But she will come back to the field a little bit this first 50. She'll be able to power it on home the last 25. Veronica Birchall, a freshman for Georgia, in the water next to Ledecky. Ledecky's going to hand it off to Janet Hu. Birchall will give it to Megan Rod. Good swim there for Ledecky. Half a second on Georgia. And a good swim for Georgia and Birchall. She did her job of trying to keep it as close as possible. And now Hu, who's not known as a great freestyler, she's a great backstroker. There was fifth in the hunter back that has been part of those three relays for the Stanford. She was also a member of the medley relay. Yeah, she certainly does her part. Janet Hu with the lead for Stanford. We're up swimming at Nation's Capital Swim Club, the same as Ledecky. Well, Stanford's won the 800 free relay and the 400 medley relay. Cal the 200 free relay and the 200 medley relay. Here's the meeting of the mind, but this is all Stanford now with Leah Neal, the Olympian, at the end for Stanford. And Leah Neal is senior, her final collegiate swim, and she hits the water. What a good feeling this is, to know you've got that full body length. Leah Neal was fourth in the individual 100 free. Was her best time ever, 46-7. Really just had, had an amazing career for Stanford. Just has been steady all the way through her career. And that should be able to end it, not only with a big victory here on the relay, but a team title the first in 19 years. Just below her, Chantal Van Landegem, the Olympian from Canada, swimming for Georgia, and in lane two toward the bottom, Farida Osman, the Olympian for Egypt. But this is about Leah Neal and Stanford, 308-51, the record to break. They did it! 307-61. An NCAA and American record for the Stanford Cardinal Quartet of Manuel Ledecky, who and Neal. this last session. This is a long meet. This is the last race of one long meet. You can see Leah Neal just overcome the emotion rich, knowing this is her last collegiate race. Two-time Olympian. Goes out a winner in this race. 
and she goes out a champion in the team competition. Congratulations, ladies. Another record down. Leah, how is this an example of just the amazing team effort we've seen from Stanford all weekend? Um, I think it just like we've just been doing what we've been doing like with every race, every day of this meet, and like leading up to this meet, like every day in practice and with dual meets and pack holes. Um, so I think it was only appropriate to finish it the way that we've been doing it this entire year. So I'm very proud of that. On a personal note, you are the senior and you get to anchor this relay. How special was that moment for you? Um, well, yeah, very special. Uh, <laughs> um, Greg actually told me that he had always envisioned me anchoring uh, this last relay as a senior. Um, so this is really cool opportunity to have and to be able to finish it with an American record. It was incredible to watch. Congratulations. Thank you.